welcome to market meeting livestock analysis and QA 24 July 2019. I am Sagar Chief Analyst and Trader at Superior Profit based in Singapore. I live in Thailand. Before we begin, I go through the standard disclaimer. This demonstration is for educational purposes only. It is designed to share information on superior profits trading system. The information presented here should only be used by people who are aware of the risk inherent in trading. Past performance is no guarantee of future return. Superior profit is not an investment advisor. This session is not for any recommendation of buying or selling stock or any other instrument. Superior profit will have no liability for any investment decision made by it its audience. I will use this session as a demonstration of top down, bottom up, mostly bottom up and also inside based identification of trade opportunities using live market. This is different from the weekly market roundup, which is predominantly top down analysis. That was the last slide of the presentation. Let's move to live system. Let's begin our global market review, starting with Australia's index, AXJO. We are looking at it using the weekly chart on the left and daily chart on the right. Together, we call this at a glance template because this helps us decide if there is a low risk swing trade entry opportunity at the right edge in only a few seconds. In the weekly chart, price is going up very strongly. It is in an uptrend. In the daily also, it is continuing to go up with higher high and higher low. It is in an uptrend in daily. Price is already very close to the upper boundary line. Therefore, it is bullish. However, extended, we are not going to take any long trend. What about China market? Let me try the other index, CSI 500. Both CSI 300 and CSI 500, both the indices, were inside the weekly triangle pattern one week ago when I discussed it in the previous live market meet. And they are continuing to be inside the triangle pattern. That means it is moving sideways. There is no clear trend. In the daily also, it is not moving much. We'll stay away from any trade until price can go out of the weekly triangle pattern. It is directionless at present. Hong Kong market. For three weeks in the weekly chart, it is moving sideways and that lack of direction is evident from the daily chart also. Again, we will stay away from any directional swing trade in Hong Kong market. Australian market was bullish. China and Hong Kong are sideways. And India market, we will see it is starting to topple over. In the weekly chart, backdrop candle color has turned magenta for one, two, three, four, seven weeks now. That is a long time. In the daily chart, there was a headwind reversal signal and I had talked about the reversal signal when it came at that time. That has got the very top for the time being. It has already 
dropped enough to take a series of profitable short trades. And I mentioned earlier also on this day, it gave a trend following short trade setup. Entry would be at the close of that bar. Stop would be just above recent high. That was the high of that candle. And the profit target of lower boundary was hit in two days. What about now? Now the weekly is bearish. Daily is bearish, but it is already below the lower boundary level. It is oversold as seen from the stretch band indicator. Therefore, we are not going to short it. It is oversold, extended to the downside, and it is bearish looking, bearish color, bearish shape, both in weekly daily. We are not going to take any long trade. We'll just wait for the next low risk trade setup. UK market FTSE index. The pattern in weekly chart now is what we had in the Indian market several weeks ago, maybe six, seven weeks ago. From there, Indian market has dropped. And now we can see that gradually the weekly backdrop color first changed from cyan to neutral yellow and this week it has changed from neutral yellow to bearish magenta. We had a bearish shape candle one week ago and this week is also turning out to be a bearish shape candle. Bearish shape, bearish color in weekly. Not a good sign for people who are holding long position in FTSE or the underlying stocks. And in the daily chart we see again there was a headwind signal that could catch the very top. Then gradually price could recover to that level, the watermark that was created at the bearish headwind signal, tried to go up, moved up down for a number of times and as of today it is falling below that watermark resistance, creating a false upside breakout. Weekly color shape both are magenta. Daily has given a magenta color candle. And if you see, there is now a memory resistance line, trend line resistance in the daily. There is no support line nearby. The next support line is far away. This is what happens when the trend changes from uptrend to sideways and then starts to change to downtrend. In the beginning, there will be only support lines. Then when it starts to move sideways, it tends to have support and resistance both. Price is inside a triangle at that time. And then we'll have only memory resistance line, no nearby support line. That is the time that we get the first and most lucrative and low risk at the same time shorting opportunities. Right now, if one shorted FTSE, the entry price will be at the close of the candle. Stop would be just above the memory resistance line and one could try to book profit once the upper, not upper, once the lower boundary is hit. That would give more than one reward risk ratio. Therefore, Australia is bullish, China, Hong Kong, sideways, India bearish and bearish for six, seven weeks. And FTSE is just turning bearish, starting to turn bearish. The optimal time to start to look for shorting opportunities and protect long positions. Let's look at the USA market futures. S&P 500 E-mini futures, ES, displayed a bearish headwind in weekly. The weekly candle color changed from cyan bullish to yellow neutral. This week it is continuing to be the yellow color so far. Daily also displayed bearish headwind. Since then it is moving sideways. If it can break below this support line, 
then you may be cautious about long positions in SPY and also in underlying stocks. Again, this is the scenario that plays out. In the beginning, there will be only support lines. Then it will move sideways. Support lines slope will change. Initially, the support line slope would be steep. Then the slope will change. Then the resistance line will form. It has not formed yet in e mini futures, S&P 500. And then it will break down below the support. That is the time we have the most lucrative shorting opportunities. In S&P 500, it has not happened yet. But in some of the stocks, you start to see that playing out. Those can be very lucrative shorting opportunities. And if you are not going to short, at least you could protect profit in existing long positions. We see S&P 500 futures has yellow candle color in the weekly chart now for two weeks. This week is not complete yet. Let's see what is the case for the other futures. NQ, NASDAQ. This also displayed bearish headwind in weekly, bearish headwind in daily. This week price has recovered enough to change the color back to cyan. The week is not over yet. The daily is moving in down, up, down, up, sideways fashion. If it breaks below this trend line support, you may be cautious. Until then, we are continuing with the bullish view on NQ. NQ is stronger than SPY because the weekly backdrop color has changed back to cyan. What about YM, the Dow futures? In the last webinar also, I mentioned Dow futures is the strongest. Why? Because there is no bearish headwind in weekly. There is also no bearish headwind in daily in recent days. There was one earlier, but price has successfully broken above the high of that bearish headwind candle. So there is no bearish headwind in recent days. That is not broken yet. If this memory support is broken in the daily chart, then we may be cautious. Here, the weekly never turned yellow. So we can see the subtle differences between the three futures. S&P 500 changed to yellow, and this is the second week for which it is remaining yellow. NQ changed to yellow one week ago, this week turned back to cyan, and Dow has never turned back, turned down from cyan to yellow. It is remaining cyan in the weekly chart. We can see Dow is the strongest, then NQ, then S&P 500. And as I shared in previous market roundups, previous webinars, Russell 2000 is the weakest. That is RTY. It was inside a triangle pattern one week ago when I discussed, and it is remaining inside the triangle pattern in weekly chart. In daily also, it is inside triangle pattern. There is no clear direction. How to trade these triangle patterns? One way is to wait for the breakout in either direction or to wait for price to go to the resistance or support and reverse from there. However, if that kind of bounce happens near the tip of the triangle, then there is not enough distance to have a low risk, relatively higher reward trade setup. If such a reversal happened here, that would be more profitable. But the more it comes to the tip of the triangle, we have less reward potential. In that case, we may wait for the actual breakout to happen. Here, we see the only one of the four market futures where the weekly color changed to magenta one week ago, bearish, and this week also it is remaining bearish. The weekly color clearly shows us the subtle differences in the four futures. What about oil? Let's check oil futures, CL. I discussed it earlier also. It is continuing to remain in the weekly triangle and daily triangle. 
multiple support and resistance lines in daily. We may wait for price to break out of that. Let's look at gold futures, the last of the futures we can check, GC. Again, in previous few webinars, I discussed that in the daily, it is going in up down up down fashion and if we change to gld etf we can see it is having gap up and gap down moves that is not a safe time to take directional swing trades and now we can see there is a triangle pattern in the daily chart unless it breaks out the direction is not clear we may stay out from gold trades in the usa market we see the direction is either not clear for the commodity futures or for the market futures it is either not clear like in case of russell 2000 or it is in an uptrend but starting to move sideways it may be better to wait before starting to buy many trades that is the market level view let's have a look at the sector level without spending much time if we focus on the five day period, three sectors up, eight down. Over 10 days, four sector up, seven down. Over one month, six sectors up, five down. Over two months, eight sector up, three down. We can see from this two month period until five day period, how the balance is shifting towards declining sectors. Initially, it was eight, three eight up three down and over five days it is three up eight down that is showing the gradual deterioration in the sectors and we can see from the futures also the uptrend slope is changing it is still not in downtrend if you study the sectors and the market together you will see the warning sign will come first from the sector level the market futures may still not give us any weakness signal it will come first in sector level and then it will be visible in the futures market futures the signal will also come from the individual stocks market is not in downtrend yet how far we can start to look for trade setups in overvalued stocks that are at a very high level one way to do that is to run scan combining multiple Q sonars. It can be done in Metastock Q Global trading system or TradeStation Q LE trading system. The same sonars are available. Let me show how we can combine some of the sonars as a top, not top, as a bottom up analysis. We can look for short breakout, meaning short candidates which are breaking out of memory support. Then we can combine that with stocks that are at price extreme high and reversing. We may run that in a list of stocks that we have prepared. It could be run on S&P 500 or a custom list that you have. we can order them first choose the stocks at extreme high and reversing and then which are breaking out it will run the first scan first and the output will be passed to the second scan it is taking a while while it is doing the processing I, I have no data stored on my computer. It is always using real-time system, fetching data from Thomson Reuters. Now, Refinitiv it. While it is doing that, let me review some of the stocks I discussed earlier. NLS was one. This was a stock raised to me by one of the Q traders. And I had mentioned that time, the fundamentals were not looking good. Even now, I think the fundamentals are not good. Fundamentals don't change every day. 
in the technical chart it was weak the backdrop color has turned cyan i think what caught the attention of the q trader was this extreme high activity volume in both weekly and daily at that time that is the time he brought it to my notice and i analyzed and i mentioned it is not a trade i would like to take not in my style fundamentals were weak and technicals were also not strong enough for me just volume and one strong candle was not enough that was at that time what about now from there price has pulled back little bit there is a memory resistance nearby and what i explained about uptrending market futures is also true for downtrending stocks initially the slope would be steep for the memory resistance line then they will start to flatten out and then they will be broken the breakout hasn't happened yet but if nls can break out of the memory resistance i can see the weekly is continuing to remain in bullish color if it can break out of the daily most likely it will give the next cyan color candle and that will be the first possible go with flow setup trade that is the first possible trend following trend i am assuming it will not go down the previous low and not create a lower low if it goes up from here if that's a big if it hasn't happened yet if it goes up from here without going down gives us a sand color candle breaks out of the memory resistance then we'll have the first possible go with flow long trade setup with very low risk how about the fundamentals are not not looking good still so it's not a trade that i call 360 degrees trade where we are trying to align the sector or industry at least industry strength fundamental strength and also technical strength that was one stock okay we, we have now run it in meta stock and we have a number of stocks starting with starting with 1900 almost 2000 stocks we now have only 18 stocks we could look at them and you will find some interesting shorting opportunities from there or at least you would start to protect profit in long position how to do that in q elite there are multiple ways in q elite registration there is a scan facility where you could run the scan first for q price extreme high and reversing that will generate a list of stocks on that output you can run the scan for short breakout it will then finally give the same result almost same result sometimes there may be small differences because of the way registration calculates some q signal and how meta stock calculates the q signals but 99 98 percent of the stocks will be same and that is how you can use scan in q elite choose one scan first run it and use the output to run the second scan there is no way in station to combine the scans in a waterfall model like i could do in metastock that's why in the webinars i tend to use metastock because as i demonstrated i could feed the output of one instantly to the input of the next scan that is not possible in station we have to run the first scan the output will be presented on the right hand side panel and you can save it maybe in a list and then run the second scan that is if you are running scan if you are using sonar that is using radar then you can drop the entire list of stocks here let's try that let's run it on s p 500 constituent stocks while it is loading data why don't we review the stocks in meta stock then i will come back to tristation radar which we call sonar dashboard and we'll do the same thing using radar radar is faster now i am running the webinar that's why it's taking bandwidth memory everything 
otherwise radar will be able to calculate everything difference between scan and the sonar dashboard is that scans does not scans do not recognize intraday price move or intra bar price move whereas radar does so you can run radar before market close as well how to do that in radar you first choose stocks that are at pendulum high this cyan color and green color you can double click again the header to reverse the sort order let's delete the remaining assume that these stocks are deleted from the stocks that are at pendulum high look for stocks that are breaking out so we have aee let's look at aee using technical charts and we can see in daily it broke out of one memory resistance however there are other memory resistance instantly we'll ignore this we are not going to trade it we may add it to watch list but we are not going to trade it because there are other support lines that's how we can use either radar or the station scans let's look at the stocks using meta stock here nee has multiple support lines just below price one support line is broken but other supports are there so we are going to ignore it for now for any shorting short trade this one is looking into instantly you see instantly we can decide pg procter and gamble one week ago it had a doji indecisive candle in the weekly chart the color was still bullish now the color and shape both has turned bearish weekly has a bear release signal daily is still in an uptrend so we are not going to take any trend following short trade it has broken below the memory support weekly is bearish it broke below support with high activity not very high that would have one dot not extreme high that would have also a dot different colors it's just very high that is the thick line in volume bar or activity bar so am i going to short it now no remember the go with flow trend following short setup which relies on the magenta flow color is applicable only if the stock is in a downtrend this stock is not in a downtrend so we cannot apply trend following short setup in a stock that is moving in an uptrend the color is useful the breakout is useful why because if i had a long position taken earlier then i might have booked partial profit already for the remaining position i may start to manage it more closely maybe book some more profit or do something with options but i will be careful about procter and gamble no need to enter short trade now i will not enter short trade because it is still in uptrend thus magenta flow enough it is not, not enough reason to take a short trade because it is still in an uptrend let's look at the next stock pull day home and instantly here the situation is different it is not in an uptrend it was in an expanding fan kind of pattern and yesterday it broke below this memory support now we can see with extreme high volume the displacement was also large enough together it showed that it declined with extreme bearish pressure that is very bearish interestingly one week ago there was a bearish headwind sign we are always watchful when the bearish headwind sign comes we are cautious about any long position and now we have a break below support in both weekly and daily it is already oversold i am not inclined to short it when it is oversold and so close to the lower boundary line however if i had a long position i would consider booking profit or at least protecting profit this is not a stock i would like to continue to hold and i may start to look for shorting opportunity not right now because it already dropped significantly near the lower boundary next up this one also 
not in an uptrend not like Procter Gamble here weekly has already changed to magenta color for several weeks prior to that we had a doji candle we changed color from cyan to yellow we could notice that and start to become careful and then price declined somewhat however it is or rather was inside a triangle pattern it has broken below the support trend line yesterday there is another support line nearby so again not a case where i'd like to short but if i have a long trade i will be careful another stock where i will be careful if the memory supports are broken this is not a stock i like to buy new long position because weekly was indecisive one week ago the color changed to magenta this week shape is becoming bearish color is magenta there is a support nearby but weekly support tends to be far away though it doesn't look like from the chart now in daily there are many support lines it is still in an uptrend so not a short candidate if the money supports are broken there may be reason for concern again a stock i'm not going to short it now tsco only if this memory support in daily is broken and maybe even the weekly is broken then there is a reason for concern while pull the daily candle is very indecisive with long upper tail long lower tail it dropped with heavy activity but almost regained the memory support weekly is also indecisive not a stock i'd like to buy not a stock i'd like to short Okay, this is bearish. It was moving sideways for a long time, and yesterday it dropped with extreme high activity. And this dot position shows where it is extreme high. So it dropped with much, much more than even extreme high activity level. That is very bearish. Am I going to short it now? No, because it gapped down already now if the low of this gap down candle is taken out maybe it will move sideways for a while then it will go below the low of the gap down candle that is an opportunity to short it with stop not above recent high that will be far away but stop just above the high of the gap down bar in the weekly it is clearly bearish this long term support not very long term but long term support is broken with bearish shape bearish color candle boot boot we are not going to short it now the memory may be technically broken mathematically but yesterday's candle was indecisive it has a lower tail in the daily chart so not a time to short this stock i will be careful it has a bearish headwind possible reversal signal two weeks ago it had a doji candle in weekly indecisive one week ago it had again an indecisive candle closing almost at the same price at the previous as the previous week and now it tried to go up first but declined with a bearish headwind the weekly color now turned yellow and daily had a bearish headwind earlier right declined somewhat tried to go up declined again with another bearish headwind possible reversal signal and now it is breaking below the support this is a stock i am okay to short if today price continues to go below the low of previous day with stop just above the recent high that gives very attractive reward risk ratio b r f s but before doing that i prefer to align fundamental and industry weakness brfs.k let's check the fundamental it is in packaged foods and meats food processing industry next earnings 9th august still some distance away enough distance enough days away for a swing trade doesn't make money eps shows that doesn't pay dividend let's see the valuation is neither overvalued nor undervalued in the middle has recent quarter earnings growth has recent yearly earnings growth though the revenue growth is not there 
fundamentally it is in the middle earnings growth is there but valuation is in the middle it's mixed picture there is a short squeeze potential let's have a look at the industry package foods and meats that's in consumer staples consumer staples sector we can start with the sector the sector is very broad consumer staples as a sector is improving but that is very broad let's look at package foods and meats the industry is not strong over five days it is improving but if i open up the last two day period and one day period then i see it deteriorated again so this is not an industry i am going to look for a long setup and this chart is telling it is better to look for shorting opportunity which will give us very low risk shorting opportunity actually if we apply the checklist conditions for all the trade setups we have only four trade setups one for only one market condition easy to remember if one is comfortable taking reversal trades this is not a stock in a downtrend not yet at least reversal trades will come first then trend following trades both for long direction short direction this is giving me a technical reversal short setup using the headwind reversal setup checklist conditions are in our website Coupa software it broke one memory support line this one but another support is just below price so i'm not going to consider shorting it in any way crm very strong stock well-known stock salesforce.com in the weekly we can see for many months it is not able to go up it's kind of moving sideways if these memory supports in daily are broken that is again a big if that has not happened but if broken then i'll be careful if it continues to go up again there may be a long opportunity but right now it is sideways no trade here csod if the daily memory is decisively broken then i may consider taking a short trade why because weekly came to a watermark resistance level it's actually forming kind of triple top one week ago the weekly color changed from bullish to neutral there was a bearish release signal this week the color is remaining neutral and again a bearish shape candle if it goes down little bit this week we still have few days left then it will complete a false upside bear breakout those give low risk shorting opportunity and if the same time this memory resistance is broken this may give a low risk shorting opportunity again i prefer to combine the fundamentals and industry let's look at it csod and what we are doing now is the bottom-up analysis csod dot k is it let me check again csod dot o csod dot o it's cornerstone on demand application software strong industry infotech sector fifth august earnings we still have enough days for a swing trade makes money no dividend let's look at the industry application software and infotech and though sometimes we may have an idea the industry is strong the data may show otherwise the server side error comes from thomson reuters we have to just pause and run it again while i try to contact thomson reuters again let's look at the information technology is the strongest right now instantly we can see and it has been the strongest for a while since two month to one month to 10 day to five day period let's look at application software now we can see it was strong before but not anymore now it is not the strongest industry and the stock was and is at the very high level now creating triple top in weekly this is not a stock i would like to buy the industry is not so weak it is relatively weaker we can see that from the 
heat map industry heat map let's check the fundamental valuation is in the middle it has earnings growth very robust earnings growth very nice reasonable uh, revenue growth also so this is not a 360 degrees shorting opportunity technically i may be careful if i have a long trend but i tend not to short stocks that are fundamentally strong why because there are usually always opportunities where fundamentals are weak industry is weak technical is weak if there are always opportunities like that either today or tomorrow why not wait to short that instead of shorting csod where the fundamentals are pretty strong not a stock i'd like to short if i had a long position i may be careful is there any other stock in the output w data also a strong company and we look at the stocks regularly we know which stock is strong which stock is not i had looked at few softwares few, few stocks let me look at some of them m s c i this is a stock i am happy to short because weekly was in a very strong uptrend which started from the bullish headwind now the weekly memory support is broken for two weeks it was broken one week ago itself now it is broken going down again in daily as of yesterday it broke the memory support though yesterday the market recovered msci didn't that is a good sign for a short setup breakout candidate because it broke below support with extreme not extreme but very high activity this is a possible shorting candidate msci let's look at the fundamental msci is it dot o if i don't remember i can use the reuters smart search msci and i can see it's dot k so let's correct it msci dot k k for consolidated financial exchange and data industry in financial sector first august earnings not very far away so we have to keep that in mind makes profit pays very small dividend let's look at financial exchanges and data industry start with financial sector though it is broad it's no harm to start from the financial sector it is going up down up down fashion cyan turning slightly magenta turning slightly cyan magenta again up down up down but let's look at the industry financial exchange and data weak isn't it instantly we can see that how nicely those who are willing to short for them those who are only long traders for them not so nice it is turning beautifully from cyan to magenta and just about to turn weak just over five days it was 65 score then 48 then 28 but i just look at the color and that is what we are seeing from the chart it is at the very top that gives best shorting opportunity but i will like to look at the fundamental and instantly this is one that meets all the requirements for 360 degrees trade the fundamentals are weak in terms of valuation overvalued so it has earnings growth that is fine that's why it went to the very top in fact if you look at the pr analysis all the stocks are overvalued this particular stock is only 4.8 percent below 52 week high in fact again all the stocks in this list are very close to 52 week high all of them are therefore overvalued also you can see also interestingly most of them have nice earnings growth though these two have negative earnings growth now decelerating so we could look at cboe and cme well known symbols msci has given us a possible short opportunity let's look at cboe no technical short trade setup yet and cme no technical short setup yet 
So if I combine fundamental industry technical, MSCI is giving a short setup as of now. That is the Q analysis. That is all for today. You may learn more about the technique system from the other webinars from library or video book, following me on Twitter, watching the other YouTube videos, and of course, going to the forum where I tend to share stock analysis. And now there is a Q Traders Club open to everybody actually. Now anybody can see the postings there, though only the club members who are Q user they have right access, they can post their own analysis. These resources provide great opportunities of seeing in action, Q system in action. That is all that I wanted to share into the session. Thank you for attending. I look forward to seeing you in our next session. Have a great week and trade profitably.